Hello folks, hope you're all well. I'm afraid you'll have to forgive me for a wee bit of shaky camera work here, as I'm just leaning on top of a gate. I've just parked the Shogun up and grabbed the camera to survey what the situation was like. A friend of mine phoned me uh, recently asking for a wee bit of help with a pigeon and crow problem over a barley field he has. And I thought I'll grab the air rifle, go down and get a few birds for the pot and a wee bit of footage for YouTube. But honestly, if I knew how bad the situation was, I think I would have brought the shotgun down and a lot of cartridges, because this is really what it needed. But it was a long drive to get here, so I'll just have to make do with the air rifle. Now, I usually like setting up a hide in the field margins, as not to damage the crop any further than what the pigeons have. But in this situation, to get a safe shot away from the road and houses, I've set up in a hole in the barley. Now, there's no trees around these fields, but there is electric wires running everywhere, and the birds seem to love them. So, I've set up the hide overlooking a corner where there's a pylon with wires coming in two, three different directions, hoping that I can snipe the odd bird off as they land on it. The air rifle I have with me today is my John Bowkit Blue Printed BSA Super 10, running at about 15 foot pounds of energy with the JSB 15.9 grain dome pellets. Uh, the scope is a Nico Starling Target Master 4 to 16 by 44, and I'm using a Virax silencer. I'm also filming through the side shot scope mount, fitted with a Firefly SE8 with a 90 degree lens on it. Well, that's the first bird down within a few minutes, as the birds seem very keen to come back to the field. I'm taking shots anywhere between 30 and 40 yards here, as the pylon itself was lazed at 34 yards. I actually was trying to push some of the camouflage netting away from the lens, and this rook must have seen the movement and was away. This bird should have been a given. But for some reason I had a malfunction with my safety catch. And he was away. Much to my disappointment. I noticed a slight breeze appear, so I decided to switch to heart and lung shots. The bird seemed well struck, but it still managed to fly about 30 yards before dropping dead into the field just the other side of the hedge. At this point I decided to go forward and try and pick up some of the birds that I had shot. But the cover was so thick and the hedgerow so overgrown, it was an absolute mission to find anything. But I did manage to find two of the birds I'd shot. Which I set up as decoys in the fallen barley in the hope to attract more birds to the line. Well, it definitely seems to be working. Again, I go for a heart and lung shot, but I allow a little for the breeze. And this time the bird goes straight down.
Although I'm getting plenty of opportunities where I am, the bulk of the birds seem to like a pylon about 100 yards to my extreme left. Now I could have set the hide up there but I didn't like the idea because I'd be pretty close to the road and I don't like shooting in front of Joe Public. The birds seem to have taken more of an interest in the far field for now. There must be another big patch of laid barley out there too. Heavy rain and winds can flatten the barley, letting the birds get into the seed heads. And if you think every bird there going home with a fist sized crop full of barley, it all starts to add up. I know the shotgunners will be going mad in the comments at the minute. I do realise I brought the wrong tool for the job, but the farmer told me a couple of uh, shotgunners hit the field the day after I did and they did a much better job of moving the birds on. I think I just got nothing but feathers in this shot because the bird flew down the line about 100 yards and landed in a pylon beside a few of his mates, totally unaffected by the shot. I did watch him for a while and he didn't seem to fall off dead, he just flew off with the rest of them. I think my problem was I was still allowing for wind that had died off. This bird seemed to do something similar. It flew about a hundred yards down the line and then dropped dead out of the sky into the other field. I had this happen about five or six times through the day. Sometimes you managed to see where the birds dropped and sometimes you didn't. I guess that's the bit of a downside to heart and lung shots. Every so often the birds took off like this. They always seem to fly in the same direction. I take it there must be a day roost in that direction where the birds can sit and digest their crop full of uh, food before coming back again later. Had to do a quick magazine change here as I've been taking practice shots on and off through the day to try and figure out the wind and forgot to reload the magazine but he's still there not even a flutter I don't think I've ever seen a pigeon drop as clean as that wish the rest of them would do the same
decided on a headshot there and just plucked a few feathers from the side of its neck. One good thing about the birds taking off like this now and again is there's a lot of birds in the air and there's a good bet that one's going to land next where you're sitting. I had one sitting in at the decoys there. This one's 39 yards, so we'll give it a little more elevation. Oh, with another one down in at the decoys. He's only about 10 yards away, but I have the rifle and stick set up to shoot up high. And he spots me as I try to re-manoeuvre myself, and he's away. Young rook this time. Well, I've been here a good five hours or more. My tummy's rumbling and I've got a decent drive to get home before I can get any grub. So, I decide to call it quits. Man, the bother I had trying to find them birds. I looked up and down both sides of this hedge, even crawled through it in some places. And anything that fell on the right hand side of the pylon was lost because the field sitting with about four foot high of corn. I did try to find some but I was only going to cause more damage to the crop than it was worth so Unfortunately, I only got about 11 birds at the end of the day, but I know I shot a lot more. That was a nice place for an ambush, but terrible place for retrieval. Well, I did go back to the field a few days later, and there was hardly a bird moving on it. Between the shotgunners that came after me, and a brank span new crowbanger that the farmer had bought, the field looks a lot safer. But hopefully we'll get a day on the stubble once it's cut. <laughs>